Kazoo with producer, actor, and host Gwendolyn Osborne Smith. Welcome to the yeah. Zoo, baby. Yeah. All right, let's take a seat and let's chit chat, girlfriend. One, two, three. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, so I, got, I gotta start this off. Please. Well, I gotta do the usual. If okay. you guys just excuse me. I need to recognize your beauty. You're a beautiful woman. Oh my woman. gosh, <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. Secondly, before we get into some of the stuff that you're doing, I'm a fan of your husband. Okay. Kenny Smith, he is the best basketball analyst on TNT. He's the one that, he, he brings the logic, the common sense. Yes, I'd have to agree. Right? And, 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 you know, people don't realize what a great ball player he was. And people always think of him as a shooter early on. He could dunk. Does he still dunk? D d I didn't know any of that. You didn't know he could dunk? He has a, has he, have you ever seen him dunk, like, at this point in his life? I have seen him dunk maybe twice in oh, 13 Kenny. years. So, wow. yeah. But, you know, he'll do it if he's really revved up. Like, he loves to do the camps every year. We do a camp with right, kids. Right. And, you know, they'll, like, run up and be like, come on, Kenny, Coach Kenny, Coach Kenny, Coach. And then he'll go and he'll fight. And I'm, like, sitting over there, oh, my gosh. I hope you hope that he doesn't, him. like, tear the keys yeah. or bust the knee. <laughs> like, is this going to be our summer over? But, oh, no. no. It's been but he, he was in the slant dunk competition. I don't know if he won one. But he was in one. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love it. So you know him. When did you meet him? Um, in 2004. OK, so this is after his career. So you yes. met him when he was more the host yes. and the personality and yes. the analyst. Yes, right. I met him as an analyst. I had absolutely no idea what he did. I didn't know anything about him when Have I Have you ever played? Has he ever shown you like some of his ball skills? Oh, he shows me all the time. Like, that's Do you cute. compete against each other at home? <laughs> that's Do you cute. play? No, no, that's no. Awesome. I, I Basketball players. Yeah, you don't understand. I would I, be the I'm same not, as you. No. Like, but you're tall, Gwendolyn. How tall are you? I am. I'm 5'10". Wow. But basketball was just never my thing. I played netball in England. I grew up okay. in England, netball. by the way. Oh. So, um... British so sports. What is that? Yes. What is netball? And netball is in the Olympics. Thank you very much. Just really? So you know. What? <laughs> Hold on, wait, it's a British conspiracy. Or, like, try out for the Olympics? Yeah, no, it's actually, I didn't, I didn't, okay. I didn't go to the Olympics. <laughs> let's, let's get that clear, no. But netball is, a, is like, it's basically, it was a women's version of basketball that oh, was right. created, and, and you do not dribble the ball. Okay. And uh, you catch it, you get two, two feet to go down, and there's no backboard. Right, I've seen that. So Whoa. I am a good shooter, because okay. my position was goal shooter. That's and amazing. Goal attack, so you have to also, shoot yeah. on the net just like this without yes. the back yep. thing? So what was Kenny's I reaction to, to, to when straight. you showed him that sport, was he like, what the hell is this? Yes, <laughs> he really was. And I had to Google, I had to go on YouTube, I had to come up with all kinds of like, look, here it is. And then he finally watched a game and he was like, it's pretty rough. I was oh, like, yes, I yeah. actually have a broken finger. Oh, wow. And Ugh. it's never been the same since. I know, I've hidden oh. it through my whole career. I have hidden That's it. So... But this is my dedication to sports right here, okay, you guys. Nice. I'm a badass, too. Just yeah, so you know. no, you so. are. <laughs> there it is. Don't so, mess with her on the court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, and we saw you on the show, The Smiths, which yeah. was a reality show a couple years ago on TBS. Are you guys going to do something similar? Because I know you signed a development deal with ITV America. Yes. What's, what's, what do you have cooking? So our content is... Uh, is a mixture between sports and lifestyle, and then we incorporate some game stuff in there because mm -hmm. you know my history with uh, Price is Right. Being yes. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. Now you're yeah. like, like that. Listen to this. I Just went to, to the Price is Right when I first arrived to LA yeah. three years ago, and actually my best friend competed to Are you win me? the car. And did he you didn't. Win? No, he didn't no. win. Oh, it. Okay, but sorry. we got a bunch of kitchen appliances, like oh. a fryer and stuff. Wow. I'll never use like a dehydrator and a pasta maker. What? <laughs> and the experience, girl, the experience, the experience that he went on there. And yeah, it I was so And I didn't fun. even get chosen. Oh. <laughs> Which is the worst <laughs> part. What, what you get to your... be amongst all the other crazy fans in the audience. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. What was your experience like in that setting all the time? The energy is insane in that well, room. Well, you know, I'm a it's human so being, so not every day would I walk in there wanting to be of around. Of course, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't you know? want that I all mean, the time. It, 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 was, it was great training for me to realize, you yeah. know, you got to leave your crap at the door. Like, oh, you come sure. in for and sure. let it go. And I'm sure you guys experience that here. You just got to yeah. go and you go yeah. with your flow. <laughs> and then after a while, the energy consumes you. Yeah, and you get yeah, into yeah. it. And to be honest, like how you guys started here with the yeah. music, it's like that there. They, the DJ's going, music's going, and I get into it. Once I get going, uh, the whole crew, I get the, everybody dancing. I can get these guys dancing. Are you serious? Let's get I'm pointing to you guys with the yes. cameras. Yeah. Here, by the way. We're all laughing. It should be easy. It should be easy enough. Did like, you follow Vanna White? Um, no. 
Dana White. Wait, no, no, Dana White is Wheel of Fortune, Umberto. <laughs> it's okay, oh, darling. Oh my goodness. God bless me. Okay. Listen, I'm here during the day. Yeah. It's good news yeah, to my I'm boss to hear that he does that, that I'm confusing thank, the game shows. Thank goodness I'm at home is right. I'm sorry. He was watching all these okay. game shows. It's okay. Because I think it, it does happen often, okay. so don't worry. Have yeah. you ever met Dana White? I have, and she's lovely. Is she there is. that connection of you know, okay, Price is White, Wheel of Fortune? You know, we kind of hold the energy. <laughs> I don't know about all of that. We we had a we had a mother connection. She's okay. a mother. I'm okay. a mother. So, yeah, nice. um, better connection. Yeah, she actually has her own company with yarn. Okay. And I worked for her company, and wow. um, and her kids were there with her, and so be, and she didn't know at the time I had a daughter, and and we were like talking about mum stuff and how you you work and balance being a mother and and working and all that kind of stuff. You're so, a Gemini. I am not. Okay. <gasps> You're an so, Aries. No. <laughs> You're a Leo. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. guessed it. Now, uh, that's very nice of you to say, Gwendolyn. You were just talking about being a mother, and yes. I read that you were a single mom when you first started on The Price is Right. Uh, yes. What was, I mean, was just was that just like a lot to handle being on camera and having to deal with raising a child? Well, absolutely. You know, um, I was a teen mom, so oh, wow. I actually moved to LA. I drove out from Miami. I oh, really? I'm from Miami. <laughs> Wait, so when did you move to Miami, and at what age did you drive over to California? I was 22, 22, 23. Um, my daughter was five, about to go into kindergarten. Okay. So I knew that she was going to start school. And um, school was, uh, kindergarten here was from 9 to 12. And I was like, oh. okay, what about the rest of the day? <laughs> like, <laughs> I need to work. Yeah. I figured it out, you okay. know, and Price is Right at the time schedule was, it, it ended at 3.30. And it oh, was perfect, perfect for a mother to be able to go, go do your thing, get glamorous, ah, uh, and then go home and take care of my kids. So wow. it was it was a great situation for me. Things wow. always work out. So how's it been the transition from the Price is Right and everything you did there to what you have now as the CEO, COO of the company that you have with, with your husband? Um, it's been very interesting because, you know, going into working full time with your husband when you've Ooh. only done it a little bit part time is very different. Do you want to kill him at times? Um, yes. <laughs> I say that. No, uh, not at all. No, uh, it's tough. You know, um, I have worked with him very much over the years, but now full time learning how to just respect his way of working and him, okay. him respecting my way of working is is a part of the course. And that's what we've been doing. Awesome. But it's been good. Amazing. <laughs> Vivian's losing it. <laughs> All right, I'm folks. We're, it. <laughs> we're back on the Zoom. Crazy day. With Gwendolyn. Let me tell you, you know, Vivian loves to hang out with tall girls because she's not that tall, but she has a very big personality. So yeah. her stature energetically is very tall. So that's why I think you can One pretend. of my best friends, Joanna, she's a beautiful Colombian model, and she's tall, 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 and I'm very little. Like, I hug her, and I'm on her boobs. Like, oh, oh I'm sorry. Like, but, yeah. Yeah. I'm very, I'm, I'm short. But I she's a confident woman. And she that's is a very confident woman. She's very confident. <laughs> Love that. So I tell mean, us a I bit about the pro this new project that you're doing uh, with your production company for True TV. Yes, yes True TV. I yes. love True TV. Late Night Snack. It's um, it's one of uh, our. We're very proud of this. Yeah. So and the '90s with Cardi B and Bruno. Mm. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm just just relaying to them. Like we don't. We're not using them. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say. I'm like, oh my god, Cardi B is on your show. They are bringing the '90s back. Okay. So, uh, yeah, don't go too far. So, so you know, Kenny played during the '90s. Right. So he has a lot of history and stories with. For who, by the way? Who did he play for? Um, uh, the Houston Rockets. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Two times champion. Yes. I do know that because he yeah. raps about it all the time at nice. home. Just in case you wanted to know that. But, uh, <laughs> he raps. He tries to. Oh my so, god. Um, it's yeah. So it's like a lot of stories to do with some of the you know famous basketball players in time, Michael Jordan mm, and, uh -huh. and and such. And so we took these stories and we created animation around them. And he's narrating and then sketch comedy and um, I have quite a, a few experiences of myself that I used to direct produce and act in myself as a sketch comedian so wow. I got to bring some of my what? own talent into that as well so I'm really excited for people to finally be able oh, to see fun. that that's awesome. <laughs> and so that it's, I didn't it's know about you yeah the comedy part yes I mean I, I love it you know I used to have, we had a group called the bimbos uh -huh. nice. why the bimbos it was the bimbos and we we created it was uh, five girls and we created so many things all by ourselves we actually had a pilot at, on TBS wow. they ended up going with a guy he didn't work out but that was because they chose the wrong person oh. but, you know, but you know, <laughs> it, that music like that will happens. always come yeah. back one day. So oh, yeah. yeah. So do you do stand-up co comedy or...? I have not done... It's very different to do uh -huh. stand-up comedy than it is to create a show. Okay, you know? okay. Of course. Um, 
different. It's very different. You get yeah. time and you get to do yeah. it again, you know, and right. nobody's there with the pressure, you know. Okay, I'm gonna put some pressure on you now. Okay, okay. Uh -oh. Because it's time to play a little game that we like to call Follow on Follow. You guys are doing I'm, good. I'm a little scared. Do we want to call her <laughs> after the, if we do well on this game? All right, so here's here's how it works. I'm going to give you two people. Okay. And you're going to decide, based on these two people, which one you're going to follow and which one you're going to unfollow on social media. Okay. Okay? So, our first pair, Meryl Streep versus Nicole Kidman. I'll Oof, tell you why we're pairing them tough. up. Oh, Meryl Streep is going to join the cast of Big Little Lies for the next season. That's on Showtime, right? HBO. HBO, oh, yeah. sorry. Oh, my God. HBO. Oh, HBO. And I love HBO's it. HBO's pulling their we talent the show. We need to get you on that cable subscription. Now, Nicole Kidman was the Academy Award-winning powerhouse lead in the series, but will Meryl upstage her? Who are you going to follow? Who are you going to unfollow? Freak Meryl oh. Streep wins every time. Yeah, she does. Following her completely. Ooh, nice. She does. By the way, uh, our next guest on the show, she wants to actually have a word with you. Uh, give it up for Nicole Kidman, everybody. She's coming right. No, what about the rest of you guys? I think she would feel the same way that I do too, to be honest. She'd be intimidated by you because you look like you can, you know, you know, Never. Yeah, you, you can, you can Never. dunk a, a, a netball and shoot it. <laughs> I'm gonna follow both of them. I think Nicole is a class act. She actually uh, put something, I believe, on Instagram where she was congratulating uh, Meryl for joining the show, and I think it's very classy. It was a for frenemy her. move. It was a frenemy move. Is, all of the ladies on the show, though, I mean, I guess they're all making frenemy moves then because they were all really elated to have Meryl on the show. And I'm going to follow Meryl, too, because she's going to, you know... She's going to bring mean, a whole new flavor. She's going to bring a whole new flavor. Yes. And I think that show is just going to be a blockbuster oh in a war season. It already Absolutely. is. I watched the whole thing, and I think they're just both amazing actresses. And the way Nicole performed her, her character mm. on the first season was just mind-blowing. It really was. It, it really, really I completely was. agree with you. So I would totally follow both. I, I cannot yeah. choose. Yeah. I mean, Meryl is amazing. You guys are right. cheating. But Bruno, please, choose one. <laughs> I'm gonna follow Nicole, because, like, you know, Meryl's had it all. She has you it all. You contrarian. She has You're it all. Wait, the well, no, she has it all. Nicole is like, she I can wonder, still have more. I wonder if Meryl has more online followers than Nicole, though. I, I don't know. know. I, I, I don't know. know. I, 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 Meryl doesn't, doesn't care about her online. I don't think she does yeah. either. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. have to, right? She's, yeah. 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 she's, she's a lady legend. legend. She's right. trying to, I know. She's trying to figure out where to put her Academy there. Awards <laughs> and all this. <laughs> she's already won next year. All right, this is one, one, one more pair. We're going to do okay. one more pair okay. with you because okay. you, you, you're in the know. Okay. Bruno Mars versus Justin Timberlake. Ooh. Now, after winning a ton of Grammys and with a huge number of chart-topping hits in 2017, Bruno, not that Bruno, but Bruno Mars, is having, uh, <laughs> he's the pop also music me. man of the moment, but JT's coming back with some new music this year, so is he gonna dethrone, take his throne back from Bruno Mars? Who are you gonna follow? Dang. Who are you gonna follow? Hmm. That's a really tough one because I have always loved Justin Timberlake's sound oh. and flavor mm -hmm. and, you know. I oh thought you were going to go with JT. I, that's what I'm saying. I, 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 I'm not sure because can Bruno Mars, I love that he's brought back the 90s and his, he can perform and he can dance. Yeah. He's and, very yes. talented. But can I say something? I, I'm going to chime in on who I'm going to follow. I'm I need follow. I'll tell you why I'm going to follow Justin Timberlake. Okay. I'll tell you why. I agree with you that Bruno Mars is very talented. I mean, yes. the guy can do everything. But here's the thing about Bruno Mars that, that that's missing for me. Okay. okay. My mom really likes him. Oh. I'm not really into music that my mom's like, have you been listening to Bruno Mars? And that whole song about like, I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Bruno <laughs> Mars wouldn't be a dangerous man with a loaded Glock with a safety off in his pocket. But he's there is nothing dangerous about that man. I disagree. I'd follow Justin Timberlake and wrote a song about like crazy sex. And I'll take Justin, although Justin Timberlake is starting to age. Wow. But, is but, he but Bruno Mars is not saying he's dangerous in a type of shoot. I know. I'm kind of way. He's saying he's yeah. he's dangerous in a sexy type of way. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If exactly. Bruno Mars was here sitting next to you, I'd I, kick his ass. I might. Oh. I would kick his I ass. Oh my god. That's fine. I'm just letting That's you know. That's fine. You know why? Oh, because you know that I'm intimidated by you, and and you do me the favor. I love this girl. Oh, I do like her too. Oh, thank yeah, you. By the way, if it was you versus opinion. Bruno Mars, yeah. I'd pick you any day of the week. I would hope so. Hell yeah. Thank you. Wait, what about the rest of us? Oh, who do you pick? Bruno Mars or Justin Timberlake? I'm gonna go with Justin because I don't know why. I just I'm more addicted to his music. I feel like it's more dancey. With Bruno, I love him. Really? I think he's more relevant now. Wow. But wow. I feel like right, I'm Justin very, has more dancey. I'm gonna dances. cut you off because I'm very upset by your answer. Bruno <laughs> Mars is the king, okay? He's not only has he had incredible music and lyrics and lyrics, which is lyrics. very important. But oh. finesse, this this new I song that, that song. just came out is changing the entire landscape of music as we know okay, it. It's bringing back the Wait, you're the 90s in a way. Yes. It, what, yes. It's, but yeah, it's with Cardi B. Yeah, yeah. And now you can't it's just like to Bruno to Mars it. is the I present, past, and the, the future. Let's not put it all on Bruno Mars. Justin Timberlake should retire, honestly. He's done enough. 
Justin, no. retire, bro. It's over. Let's be honest. You, you no, know no, 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 because you guys no. share the same name. Absolutely not. In fact, I hated him for that because his name is Peter Hernandez, not Bruno at all. My name is really Bruno, but I'm, a, I'm willing to overlook that because I think you're amazing, bro. <laughs> okay. No extraneous tension. Have you seen the way he performs? We're following them both. We're Insane. following them both. We're following them both. You know who else we're following? Uh, 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 we're following Gwendolyn. By the way, thank you for putting yes, up with our screaming. Yes, follow me. This is Gwenny Smith, please. This is Gwenny Smith. This is Gwenny Smith.